Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the TI-89 to simplify rational expressions. So generally we define a rational expression as the indicated division of a polynomial by a polynomial. Okay, uh, the first one I have here is x to the third minus 64 over x squared plus 4x plus 16. So if we're going to simplify this, uh, normally what we do is we try to reduce it. So one way we could do is we could factor the numerator, factor the denominator, and try to see if we can cancel like terms. Uh, in some cases, since this is a, considered an improper rational expression because the degree of the numerator is larger than the degree of the denominator, we have an x cubed on top and an x squared at the bottom. So it's degree 3 on top, degree 2 on the bottom. We could also use uh, long division. Uh, but uh, on this calculator, if I just perform the division, so parentheses x to the third minus 64, and close parentheses, and then indicate division, okay? This is an indicated division over, and then parentheses again, x to the second. plus 4x plus 16. Okay, if, if, I, if I hit enter, uh, if, this, if the numerator and the denominator have any common factors, the calculator will cancel or divide those factors out. So if I hit enter, I get x minus 4. So this actually simplifies or reduces to x minus 4, or if you want, x minus 4 over 1. But we write that as x minus 4. Now we could, have, we could have done this also by looking at the numerator as a difference of cubes. So if you use your uh, formula for the factor in the difference of cubes, the first factor would be x minus 4, x minus 4. And the second factor would be x squared plus 4x plus 16. But that's the same factor, uh, t uh, expression I have in the denominator. So those would cancel. So I would wind up with x minus 4. That's another way to do it. Now I could also do it by just dividing, taking this out, long division, and dividing this out takes a little bit longer, and I would get the same thing, x minus 4. But here I'm trying to focus on the calculator. I do have some videos on those uh, concepts or those procedures on this channel or the other channel that I have. Let's just go to the next one. Here again, I have an improper fraction. Uh, the, the degree of the numerator is 2, the degree of the denominator is 1. So if I just go ahead and perform the indicated division on the calculator, this is x to the second minus x minus 12, parentheses, and then I hit divide by the factor of x minus 4 and notice if I hit enter I get x plus 3 okay so uh, the numerator is a trinomial I could factor that into x plus 3 x plus 3 so the factors of the numerator are x plus 3 and x minus 4 but the x minus 4 on top cancels with the x minus 4 on the bottom and I get of course the same thing the calculator gave me x plus 3 okay so that's another way you could have approached this problem I could have also done long division or in this case since the degree of the denominator is, is 1 I could have used synthetic division and I still would have gotten the same answer okay so let's go to the next one Again, this one looks like number two, so let's let's again go ahead and just write this in indicated division. So x to the second minus x minus six divided by parentheses again x minus one and hit enter. You notice this one it doesn't do anything to it. It gives me the same thing back. x squared minus x minus 6 over x minus 1. 
So what happens here is if, if, the, uh, if the numerator and the denominator do not have any factors in common like uh, we had in number one and number two, uh, the, calcul the calculator in this form just writes out the same thing back, okay? So if you anticipate that there's not going to be factors in common, then what you want to do is use the next command. Or if you just want to divide it out, okay, so in, in, the, in the first two, because there was a factor in common when we divided it out, if we were to use a, a long division and divide those out in, in one and two, the remainder would be zero. Okay, in number three, basically the remainder is not zero. We have a remainder uh, of something else. So when you anticipate that, we use this command. So hit F2 and we hit number seven. Hit seven and that's proper fraction. Okay, so you have something where the degree of the numerator is larger than the degree of the denominator and you want to anticipate or do the, the division, use this command and then write it out. So here I get uh, x squared. Oops, a little carrot here. x squared minus x minus 6. Close parentheses. Divide by x minus 1. Close parentheses, then close the main parentheses. I get x minus six over x minus one. So, if, so if you were to use if you were to use uh, long division, for example, and divide this out, then your quotient would be x, and your remainder would be six or minus six, I should say, okay? And this is the way you could write it. You could say, if they ask you, for example, to divide x squared minus x minus six by x minus one, then you would say the answer or the quotient is x and the remainder is negative six. But you could write that, you could write that as x minus six over x minus one, just like if I gave you if I gave you, say, 7, <clears throat> let's say take 7 and divide it by 2, then you would say the answer is 3, remainder 1. Or you could write that as 3 and 1 half. That's the same thing as 7 halves, right? 7 over 2 is 3. 7, over, 7 divided by 2 is 3, remainder 1. So you could say the answer is, the quotient is 3, the remainder is 1, or you could write that as 3 and 1 half. Well, this is the same sort of thing with uh, rational expressions. x, quotient is x, the remainder is minus 6, or you could write it as x minus 6 over x minus 1. So in other words, if you go ahead and combine this out, find your common denominator, and combine it into one fraction, you would get the same fraction we started off with right there. Okay? Now I could have used the same command, the same command on the first two. Okay? If I use this proper fraction command on the first one, and the second one, it, it would still go ahead and do the division, and I would still come up with the same answers of x minus 4 and x plus 3 that I got uh, using the, just the regular indicated division. Okay, so a lot of things you can do with this, uh, with this calculator, <clears throat> but as usual, again, I recommend you learn the uh, procedures that you learn in, uh, in class, and use your calculator to check your results, and that will conclude the video. And again, uh, thanks again for watching, and I hope you can subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.